Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Areas of blue and green triangles which are drawn within a semicircle are A and B respectively. Which of the following represents the radius in terms of a and B. So we are given a triangle, so that's the, the bigger triangle, which is subdivided into two smaller triangles based on the perpendicular drawn to the longest side uh, from the opposite vertex. And what we are given in terms of the areas are the areas of those two smaller triangles that are formed as a result, so that those are A and B, so the blue triangle and the green triangle. Now the original triangle, so let's start with, you know, putting some names so that it becomes easier to refer to these uh, triangles. So let's call the original triangle within the semicircle as PQR and let's call the perpendicular from vertex P onto the longest side uh, QR as PS. Now we know that triangle PQR has to be a right angle triangle. Why? Because angle QPR is an angle in a semicircle and we know that an angle in a semicircle has to be 90 degrees. So that makes triangle PQR a right angle triangle with the right angle being at P. And it's given that PS is the perpendicular from the vertex P to S. And the triangles that are formed as a result, you know, the triangle PQS and triangle PSR, they will be similar triangles. And it's pretty elementary to show that. In fact, I had shown this in one of my earlier videos where I basically used the same construction to actually prove Pythagoras theorem, which is a very well-known theorem uh, with the relationship between the hypotenuse and uh, the sides, the shorter sides of a right angle triangle. So we are not going to you know, apply Pythagoras theorem here, but an important result that we'll take advantage of without proving is that when a perpendicular is drawn from the opposite vertex, so the vertex opposite to the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, that perpendicular will divide the original triangle into two triangles, which are similar to each other, and each of those two triangles are similar to the whole triangle. So you'll use some of those properties of similar triangles here. So, we start by considering the area of triangle PQS. It's very simple. We are given the altitude PS and we can take the QS as the base. So, it's half PS multiplied by QS and that's given as A, right? And similarly, we can write the area of triangle PSR as half its altitude PS multiplied by its base SR, and that's given as B. So if we divide these two equations, we can get the ratio of QS by SR as A by B. And from this, we can basically take QS as equal to A multiplied by X, where X is some constant, right? Some common constant. And similarly, we can take SR as capital B multiplied by X. So X is basically the constant of proportionality or, you know, it's, it's a common constant. Because if QS and SR are in the ratio A is to B, then we can express QS as AX and uh, SR as BX, where X is some parameter that we are yet to determine. So next, Consider triangle PQR, which is the original, the big triangle, right? So the area of this triangle 
it will be half its altitude ps and its base is qr but what is qr it's basically the sum of qs and sr so we can write this as half multiplied by ps multiplied by ax plus bx and then we take x common we are left with half ps multiplied by a plus b x so next we can equate these to a plus b that's pretty evident from the figure right because the, the areas of those two smaller triangles will basically add up to form the area of the bigger triangle and from this we can basically obtain what ps is so ps turns out to be simply 2 by x because a plus b gets cancelled out from both sides of the equation and uh, we are left with half ps multiplied by x equal to 1 from which it's very simple to get ps is equal to 2 by x so we can indicate that uh, in the figure that ps is equal to 2 by x now we'll take advantage of the property of similarity of triangles pqs and psr and it's pretty elementary to show that these two triangles will be similar and i've shown that in an earlier video but here i'm skipping that particular proof and i'm you know taking the advantage of the result itself so we know that triangles pqs and psr would have to be similar triangles so the ratio of the corresponding sides of the similar triangles should be equal so here if we take in the ratio of the two sides ps by qs for triangle pqs the corresponding sides for triangle psr would be sr and ps so so ps by qs will be equal to sr by ps and now it's a matter of substitution because we know ps is 2 by x what is qs qs is ax what is sr sr is bx and uh, ps as we have already substituted we can substitute you know 2 by x for that and we basically obtain this equation from which we can solve for x in terms of a and v so this is what we get if we you know simplify both sides we get 2 by a x squared is equal to b x squared by 2 from which we get a b x to the power 4 equal to 4 and from which we can obtain x is equal to the fourth root of 4 by AB. So now we know the diameter of the semicircle is QR, right? And that's equal to AX plus BX. So the radius R will be simply AX plus BX divided by 2. And again, we can take A plus B common. So we are A plus B multiplied by X divided by 2. And now we just substitute the value of x in terms of a and b, which you already found, right? And this is what it comes to. And now we can simplify further and we can show that this is equivalent to a plus b divided by the fourth root of 4 times a b. So the correct choice in this case will be option b.